This is a true story from a train I was sitting on waiting in crew. It's called Robert of the Railways. The man in the seat next to me is talking to the air about trousers. Thirty ones are too long and the seamstress is far, far too expensive for this particular scouser. No one else wears a brogue like the old days or a sock to the knee with suspenders. They're all sport shoes or pumps or a sandal perhaps worn when out on an alcohol bender. Well, when I used to work on the railway, we dressed smart and we also wore hats. Now there's fat girls in slacks and electrified tracks and I used to be married to Brenda. <laughs> In an old bat world where the skirts of girls bear buttons and jettons of mother of pearl and discs that whirl with Moroccan memory twirls and the last romance was a Bedouin dance with a healer from Belgium on holiday. In the late 1980s when Petruni came back with her masses on track but she still kicked him square in the goonies. In Faro, in the southern tip of Portugal, there's a chapel which is completely lined with skulls. And it's a very strange place to be, but again, makes you think about old things. Okay, this is called dust. My bones are in these walls. My fingers ran through soil, my blood revived those bushes, my tears their chlorophyll. Your words echo the meaning. Your heartbeat tattoos true. Your heaviness slows the tempo. Your breath is turning blue. Her smile had turned to rancor. Her shoulders rounded down. Her sweat choked through his layers. Her love, her hope, her dream eventually left town. 4,000 years of his stories and her stories sit and wait for allegories to be retold. Now one in five of those alive have peaked, they say, pre-passed away, yet four in five don't know they thrived. For two by two they made, well, you. And you too will join that queue to be forgot. It's nature's plot. I don't know about, I don't know about the man who's like confrontational, aggressive or whatever, but I was irked. Anybody know Harmony Bow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, fantastic. When Bowie named his LP Low, Nick Low, he styled his EP Bowie. Now Bow has made her claim to bar sounds like the Russians crashing parties. Well, she was just 17, if you know what I mean, and the way she sings is way beyond compare. But how can I stand for this stanza crime when I saw her bragging there? Can anybody be confused? I don't wear pop socks, sing light blues. How can I leave you disabused? Nobody needs to leave this bruised butt. She wrote, we've got to fight this out. Now, I'm a writer, not a fighter, so to avoid any more doubt, I'm henceforth identified as a teenage girl singer-songwriter. All right? <laughs> Any fans of Michael Clark? Yep. Well, you like stuff that goes so fast you don't know what they're saying, you'll love this one then. This is called What Noises I Only Make When Falling Over Whilst Lingering Over a Pastry. Ah. Oh. She tripped up over a rum bar bar bar, obviously extra large. She stumbled, fumbled, barely Mr. Jumble, clipped her neighbour Marge. It's not in her diet, but she had to try on her way to observe Harge. Oh, please don't panic, she's not Islamic, don't tell that Mr. Farage. She's just from Thanet and somewhat of a seabird, and not at all predictable. <laughs> These are, all, these are all bones uh, uh, published, what's that mean? I stick things on uh, Facebook so you can read them if you wish. Um, so these have all been from April and I've had their first out in time. And this is, this is apparently the most popular one I've done this month. And it's called, You Could Have Just Slept in the Attic. You could have just slept in the attic. With the hats and the buggy and skis and the boxes of death and forgotten you could have made less of a scene. They could have just slept in the attic. There is space if they tidy a bit. Please excuse them crying at detritus. They will see that your stuff would all fit. We could just have slept in the attic. 
midst the boxes of papers and toys that I held until pieces fell off them, we could have dressed up like cowboys. I could have just slept in the attic, on the bed that was once only mine. Though the clown suit is no laughing matter, I could have had such a good time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.